Okay, this is a bit weird. Happy New Year, hope you had a great Christmas and stuff. Um, I've been asked by a few people on Facebook and Instagram to start up vlogging again and doing a bit more filming and stuff. So I thought with the beginning of the year, with the new starts and things, I thought, well, better time to start again. I'm aiming to show everything as much as I can. Um, also, last year was so awesome. Um, and I got to do loads of really cool stuff. And if I had vlogged or filmed a bit more, I would have captured and documented that for for me to watch back and also for my two kids and family. So I think it's also a good way of documenting what's actually going on. So, and also I wanted to share as well that it's not just all amazing and all glamorous and I don't know what people think being a photographer is. So I wanna show the other side of it and also I am a mum and um, so yeah. That's what I'm aiming to do. At the end of November, I caught pneumonia, um, which completely wiped me out for December. Um, and I actually couldn't work, wasn't allowed to work. So yesterday was actually my first day back at work of actually photographing, and I did an elopement, which absolutely felt amazing to be working, directing, speaking to people, and holding my Canon. It was absolutely amazing. So, um, Today I've got to have an x-ray just to see how pneumonia it is and if it's gone and stuff and then it'll be admin, housework and yeah, mon normal Monday. yourself you've got to get outside for a little bit during the day um, so today I'm gonna make some little healthy bite-sized snacks and some banana and oat bites um, just for us to get back onto the healthy kick after Christmas and then after baking I'm gonna stop have a bath and chill out and get ready for tomorrow Sit there, I've got stuff to do. Bonnie, come on. So I'm gonna make some banana and oat little bites, which are two bananas, 60 grams of oats, 30 grams of applesauce, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> Back from a nice little walk on the beach with my mum um, down 
gonna raise in Falmouth. Really choppy and cold there today. And um, had a nice cup of tea, banged into a few people that I know, which is always really nice. And come home, caught up with some emails. So January is a quite um, quiet month for me, uh, for my little business, which used to sort of freak me out a bit uh, a few years ago. But after your business starts to grow and you kind of get used to when's busy and when's not, um, this quiet start of every year is always quite nice for me. Um, I always take time to reflect and have a look at the last year, plan the year in front and generally sort of take some time out for myself which is really, really nice. Also I try and start little projects for myself or to put some challenges in place and yeah, so it's quite nice for me. Um, I like today, having the little walk on the beach. Was so talking about the reflecting and looking at where I've been and what I've been doing last year, I've received some prints from photobox.com. Um, just of like, I've tried this nice square format and I just had printed off my favorite shots that I had on Instagram really. Um, mixing from like lifestyle everyday things that I've captured to my Canada trip to editorial shots uh, that I've done. That's one of my favorite editorials. Um, portraits, where I live. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm trying to probably find a nice square little album to put these in, but I think I'm gonna do this every year because it's a nice way of looking back at your favorite moments and stuff. fashion, editorial and lifestyle. Um, I am a content creator and so I produce for fashion, I produce fashion campaigns, lookbooks, um, short videos for Instagram um, and I do editorial work. Um, for lifestyle I do portraits, um, elopements, small luxury weddings in Cornwall and across the UK. Content creation is through Instagram mainly. I produce a lot of brands um, imagery for their Instagram and I do also do short films for them that they can upload to Instagram or Instagram stories. Um, the content creation normally consists of either flat lays or small areas of styling sort of around the home and stuff like that or it could be outside on location in a lifestyle situation. So obviously producing content creation for other brands, I also need to keep up my content creation as my own brand to sort of share on my social media. I'm going to do a few flat lays of um, outfits of the day or some fashion sort of flat lays which I can share with you obviously and some little bits around the home as well. Steve. He's now letting me video him. <laughs> <laughs> 